Can framing be used for sophisticated marketing funnels? It's a big question, right? Especially with all the polarization happening between communities of different web building tools in the market. Now, arguably, yes, lots of industry standardized tools has a lot of support for marketing integrations, e-commerce and automation features out of the box. This includes WordPress, Webflow, Wix, ClickFunnels, probably many more that can go on this list. But over the last one and a half years of using Framer, I feel like there's nothing really stopping us from creating any funnel flow we need. Suddenly all the basics like lead capture forms, free download buttons, time pop-ups are fairly easy for anyone to set up without having to write any code. However, to achieve more advanced funnel flows, it may require you to hack your way through the problem. You might sometimes require a custom component available in the community, or in some instances, you may have to create your own component, which requires coding skills. So yes, marketing funnels with Framer is definitely not for everyone. So the question is, who's it for? And why has our startup moved all of our marketing sites to Framer? And by the way, this is after starting with ClickFunnels in 2018, to WordPress in 2020, to Webflow in 2021, and now Framer, which we moved to in 2022 and have not moved since. All of this and more coming up next. Just before I get into it, if you're new to this channel, I'm Omar Farouk, designer turned startup founder. And in this channel, I share all my learnings around building tech startups and trying my best to achieve breakthrough growth. So if you're interested in this, go ahead and click subscribe to stay notified. Now for context, I run a couple of startups. My main one being glorified.com. Where VC backed, it's a graphic design tool for e-commerce business owners and marketers. We've done over $1.7 million in revenue since launching in late 2019. Under the same umbrella, we launched a subscription UI UX design service in late 2020. Last year, we generated close to $200,000 in revenue. And finally, a little bootstrap puppy, Blitzit, a personal productivity focus tool, which we launched a couple of months ago and generated just over $25,000 in revenue and growing. All these companies have their marketing funnels running through Framer. So why do we use Framer? Simply put, we're a design-led team, which means we just prefer to have designers, which includes myself and a few colleagues, to own the entire website building process, allowing us to roll out web pages much faster for campaigns, whilst also saving the valuable time of our development teams, allowing them to focus on more important things like building actual software, right? I've done a couple of videos on why we moved to Framer and the positive impact it's had on our team and workflow. I was also recently a speaker at Front Row's Framer conference a few weeks ago, where I dove into why we switched from ClickFunnels, then WordPress, then Webflow to finally Framer. But yeah, check those out too. I'll leave the links in the description. But in short, if you're a design-led team, which I believe is most efficient for startups, then Framer is a powerful tool for your funnels. I've given you a snapshot of what I've been able to achieve with Framer for my startups. And look, we're quite in the early stages. So make sure you also check out how other people are killing it with Framer built funnels. All right, I digress. Now, tools, integrations, and workflows for Framer funnels. All the technical good stuff. Let's go. Let's start with what Framer has to offer out of the box starting with Framer as a web building tool. Now, the workflow for designing a new landing page with Framer from scratch is quite different from pretty much all the web builders I've used. However, it is more similar to Figma. It's a freeform infinite canvas with all of your screen sizes laid out, allowing you to draw frames and add your elements and tweak various properties to make it fully responsive. If you're not a UI UX designer and therefore perhaps not familiar with Figma's responsive design process, then this will be a steep learning curve. However, there is a bit of a workaround for you non-designer marketing funnel hackers out there. Simply use Framer's pre-made layouts found in their insert menu. This allows you to simply drag and drop a range of sections, navigations, menus, and even full pages, and it's all responsive for all screen sizes out of the box. I did a tutorial last year on building a basic e-commerce website with this workflow, which you can check out. Another shortcut is to use Framer's ever-growing library of templates created by the community. There's so many categories that you can look into. For marketing funnels, you can check out their landing page category. Link in the description for that. Do note with templates, even though the bulk of the work is done for you, you still may need to get some grasp of the responsive design workflow on Framer to have full control over the customization. For an end-to-end -end content funnel, Framer has its inbuilt rich CMS. It gives you all the features you need to scale content. We use it for our organic traffic funnels via our blog. What I love about it is that you can use conditional rules to hide and show specific call to actions based on the blog article categories. This makes the experience more personalized, which really helps conversions. With the CMS, we've also been able to create a marketplace, help docs and change logs. There's really no limit here in terms of content production. Okay, now let's talk about Framer's integrations and components for marketing funnels, starting with analytics. To integrate Google Analytics, Framer has a dedicated field found inside their settings where you can simply paste your ID. Also, Framer makes it super easy to integrate all of your relevant tracking codes for affiliate programs, meta ads, or any analytic tools like Hotjar or Mixpanel 
simply paste the code in the relevant custom code fields provided and hit save. Prima also has its own basic analytics overview, which is great for a quick high level of your website's traffic numbers. Diving deeper into Framer's insert menu, you have all of your media embeds such as video upload, YouTube, Vimeo, GIFs. If you're running a podcast, you have audio embeds for Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and more. For more creative assets, you have a direct integration with Unsplash inside the image element. Plus, Framer has a bunch of icon libraries that you can easily add and customize. For custom forms, Framer has a few native third-party integrations out of the box. For simple lead capture forms, you have FormSpark, FormSpark is super handy since the plans are affordable and you can push the data wherever you need with the Zapier integrations or webhook systems. For booking calls, they have a direct Calendly integration. If you want more journey-driven onboarding forms to collect data, you can use their Typeform integration. You've also got a few direct integrations to email marketing tools like HubSpot, Intercom, and MailChimp. Prima has its own input field too, which links to a few services for lead capture. These include email marketing tools like Loops, FormSpark, MailChimp, and the last one, GetWaitList, which is an interesting referral marketing tool. And for social proof, you can directly add Trustpilot reviews or social media posts from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Another useful integration for social proof is Tag Embed, which is a social media aggregator helping you pull positive conversations and reviews across all your social media channels into any spot on your page. If you're doing a product hunt launch for a new digital product, you can easily add the product hunt widget to drive more engagement, which also feeds into that social proof loop. For e-commerce or payment systems, they currently have a direct integration with Lemon Squeezy and Gumroad, which are both great platforms to sell digital products. Both these platforms allows you to create a compelling affiliate system too. There's also a few other cool components that are helpful for simple funnels. You have the copy clipboard button. If you want a simple copy coupon experience or some kind of limited access key, you have the download component. If you want to deliver a free download, like an ebook. Interestingly, they also have a few components for booking systems like Fork and OpenTable for restaurants and Eventbrite for events. Now it's evident that the list of integrations right now is very small. And in all honesty, I have not seen many updates here. However, we've never found it to be a barrier since you can always throw up the embed component and integrate from my experience, pretty much anything you wish that has an embed code. Currently, we run webinar funnels with Framer's embed component by simply pasting the embed code for our registration form from StreamYard, which is our webinar hosting platform. We've also done the same with Brevo, our email marketing tool, and it all just works. There are also a few other marketing mechanics that you can easily create with Framer. For scarcity, you have a simple countdown timer. Just add your own styling, set the date, and you're good to go. I do wish this had an evergreen timer based on visitors cookies. Also, it does not redirect users to a different page when the timer ends, but I'm sure someone out there has made a custom component that can do this. If you want to add time pop-ups, you can simply design a pop-up, set the main frame to show the pop-up on hover, and set the enter animation to a delay you want. I've not figured out how to do exit pop-ups yet, but again, I'm sure there's a custom component around in the community somewhere. This leads me to an important point that yes, there's what seems to be hundreds of custom components and framer support tools and products that will help you achieve more advanced requirements for your framer funnels. And that's what I find amazing about framer for marketing funnels. The framer team are very much community led and they give full autonomy to users with coding skills to create any custom component they like by using their code components and overrides. So far, this is what I've been able to find from the community in terms of useful tools and integrations for marketing funnels in framer. Again, the links to all of these are in the description. If you want a super custom customized framer form with more flexibilities on styling, I highly recommend Magic Forms. It's not just a component, but a dedicated platform for framer that stores leads and allows you to integrate it to a range of platforms that pushes your leads wherever you need them. The founder Joris is super proactive and we specifically requested him to add an integration to our email marketing tool, Brevo, which he did almost immediately. By using Magic Form, we're able to save over $70 per month for paying for a Zapier subscription. If you want a range of visual components that can help you craft high converting funnels, you have to check frameroverrides.com. Here's a few of my favorite components of theirs. The countdown timer that restarts every midnight. Close enough, I guess, to the evergreen cookies based countdown timer. They also have a track clicks component. This can be great for a visual indicator of social proof. They have a scroll progress bar. This is great for content funnels to give users a sense of anticipation to go through an entire article. These are just a few. There's so many more visual components you can use to engage potential customers. Many components are free with a few requiring an upgrade. It only costs $149.99 as a one-time purchase, which is not bad at all since you own all the current and future components for life. If you want a split testing system, I recommend you try out Sumatra. You can create custom A-B experiments and run them directly on your Framer's site and gather the results directly inside their analytics tool. It's a little costly at $210 per month, 
but it's the only robust solution right now in the market. For a complete e-commerce add to cart and checkout system, there's really only one option in the market that works well. It's called frameandcommerce.com. And they've created custom components that's connected to Shopify. They give you a system to import your entire Shopify product catalog into the Framer CMS, and then connect that with an add to cart experience that allows users to seamlessly buy multiple products at once through Shopify's checkout system. It's a great solution, but a little bit pricey since you need to pay for Framer, Shopify, and their tool, which is not exactly cheap. If you want to create a membership site with gated content, like a marketplace or course, there are a few options right now on the market. There's an awesome Framer designer that I recommend you to follow, Cedric Moore. He created Course OS, which is a Framer template that allows you to build your own paid course system by integrating Outsetter, which is an all-in-one membership platform. His template only costs $150 as a one-time fee, but then you'll need to pay for Outsetter's subscription too. If you really want to save monthly costs on integrating membership platforms like Outsetter, Kajabi, or Teachable, there's also Framer Auth, which is by the creator of Framer Overrides. It's a dedicated platform for creating member-only content in Framer. They've got an entire walkthrough of setting up authentication and locked content, as well as upgrade flows with Lemon Squeezy as their payment system. And it only costs $14.99 per month. Finally, there's also Thanti, which is another dedicated membership and authentication tool for Framer. Thanti also offers a complete walkthrough of getting your sign up and locked content set up, as well as taking payments by integrating Stripe. What's cool about it is that it has a free plan for you to get set up and once you're ready to launch you can upgrade. The pro plan offers up to a thousand users with Stripe payments and custom branding. For content funnels, as mentioned, Framer's native CMS has got you covered for the most part, but if you want to add more features that could help boost conversions, then you should check out Superfields. Built by the same team behind Thenti, they have a few cool custom components, pagination, dynamic filtering, content favoriting, which again is great for engaging visitors, and social sharing, which helps distribute your content organically through visitors. So that's my list of supported tools for Framer. As mentioned, all the links are available in the description. Now, yes, there may be a bunch of features missing for specific marketing funnel mechanisms, and you do require some coding skills to create your own custom components and overrides, but it's not hard to hire a Framer expert and get help creating your own custom component that helps you solve your problem. Just head over to Framer's website and go to their experts page or post a job in their community. And if you do build something useful, it could potentially be an opportunity to sell the component to the rapidly growing Framer user base. The great thing about Framer is that it's very much a community supported platform. Even though the Framer team are rolling out features super fast, still you're not locked into the features provided only by Framer. So many builders are putting out useful components out there every single day. And bearing in mind, Framer has recently teased that they will be rolling out a plugin store soon. All right, so far with all the tools available with Framer's ecosystem, you can create a range of basic and sophisticated marketing funnels. With their form tools and email marketing integrations, you can easily create lead magnets, webinar funnels, early access funnels, newsletter funnels. With their waitlist integration, you can easily create a referral campaign with virality mechanisms. With the CMS, you can create rich content funnels, whether it's free education or a blog or even a marketplace. With their countdown timer component, you can easily create sale pages with real scarcity. With all the third-party membership tools, you can create member-only content inside of Framer through signup and paywalls. With support for payment platforms like Lemon Squeezy and Gumroad, you can easily create digital product funnels. With Framer Commerce, although a costly approach, you can integrate Shopify to build a complete e-commerce store with a seamless checkout experience. And for split testing, you can use Sumatra. Again, it's an additional costly solution and requires a little bit of onboarding, but works seamlessly for A-B experiments. Now, what I have not found solutions for yet on Framer are the following. One-click upsells, community sites, evergreen countdown timers that's based on the user's actual cookies, so countdowns exclusively for that user an exit pop-up component, although I'm sure it's easy to create with a custom component. And the current e-commerce checkout flow with Framer Commerce is limited to only Shopify. Another obvious issue to keep in mind is that many of the additional tools you need to build your marketing funnel flow will add an extra cost. And this could stack up if you're not careful. But personally, I've never really felt the price tag that much since the native Framer plans are very generous in my opinion, especially considering it against other funnel building tools like ClickFunnels, which starts at $127 per month. That being said, building funnels with Framer is still not for everyone. If you're a sole entrepreneur with basic design skills, I believe you should give it a shot by using the pre-built layouts Framer provides. This workflow makes it easier than it looks. And honestly, you'll find Find the infinite canvas super refreshing since you'll have all of your screen sizes laid out at the same time, making mobile responsive design feel seamless. As a tech startup, we've built sophisticated funnels with end-to-end -end tracking with Framer, and we love the process. We enjoy geeking out on all the technical details and hacking through the problems, even building out our own components with our dev team if we need to, or finding a gem of a component in the community. It's all part of the process that makes Framer so enjoyable. And the biggest plus point for us is that we've become design-led on our website, which helps us launch beautiful campaigns 85% faster with less people involved in the process. This alone helped us achieve huge ROI. 
I do believe design late for marketing websites is the way forward since not only does it help save development costs, but it also really helps fast track the marketing process and keeps your end to end funnel touch points super consistent from paid ads and social media content to web pages to product since it can be owned entirely by the design team alongside marketing leadership. In future videos, I'll tear down our funnels one by one to give you an inside view of how our funnels are built with Framer. So do make sure you smash that subscribe button to stay notified. Also, I'm starting a little resource center for Framer-led marketers and marketing teams. It's called FramerFunnels.com. I've dropped the link in the description. Check out the early access page and sign up to be the first to know when we go live. In the meantime, you can join my Discord community, link in the description, where you can access myself and other like-minded Framer experts. Lastly, I'd love to know more about you guys tuning in. Are there any marketers in the house or are you guys primarily Framer designers? I'd love to know what you think about using Framer for your marketing funnels in the comments below. That's it for now. Until next time, and make sure you never stop building.